Commodore Steer from Markham 3D and today we're just going to be having a bit of a yarn and we're going to just start modeling stuff. I just want to model. I haven't done it for a while. Actually, I have done it for a while. I'm not going to lie there. But I feel that just need to get some sort of uh, creative juices out the way. So, I do want to create some sort of capital sci-fi ship. And let's just kind of see how far we can go. I do like the whole idea of trying not to make it symmetrical, do something a little bit different. So for instance, the this bit here, we're gonna have kind of like a large section on one side. <sighs> see, but then this is annoying because like technically that shouldn't work um, because of the fact that if you've got an engine gravity like not gravity balance wise it probably won't be pushing it correctly oh okay fine we won't do it unsymmetrical desymmetrical all right let's edge loop in there v to rip let's select that d oops delete vertices and let's bring up our shape um, screencast keys so we can see what we're doing let's go into mirror modifiers Put in zit emitter modifier, as they say, you know. Um, from here, let's kind of maybe give it something like that. Hmm. I do like, I do like the kind of like the fork idea. I do like that design. But I reckon we just go, let's go maximum damage. I'm just going to bring that back to be something like that. Let's select that edge loop, scale zero, and go G to the Y. All right, let's look for some inspiration. <laughs> Best way to do it. Sci-fi cap. Keep it till ship, you know. Uh, images. Here we go. Let's have a looky see. Just want to quickly jump over here and check. I just want to make sure I actually am live. Am I live? Oh. Sure am. All right, let's close that. Just kind of want something to be working off. What do we got? I mean, I do like a Star Destroyer. I think that's quite nice. Or something like that. I do like this concept here mm. that doesn't look too bad I think <gasps> this one that's a piece of Lego what is it Enigma 2 I don't know where that's from but let's create something like that I'm down for that beautiful I just closed that window okay off memory Let's scale on the Z axis. Um, let's go GZ. Let's add in a Z mirror modifier as well. Um, I'm going to grab this edge here. And let's go G to the X. Oops, I don't have clipping enabled. Let's go G to the X and we'll bring that in something like so. Select that edge loop, scale X zero, G X. Okay. I reckon that all this needs to come back. G to the Y. Let's scale that on the Z. Probably scale it on the Y to really give it some length. All right. I don't know if Restream's working because I'm not looking at Restream. There we go. Hello. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong chat. Uh, render Riders, welcome. Atomic, welcome. I am plopping along. Okay. And I misread that, so that looks really silly that I said that. But anyway, let's go like that. G to the Z. Something like this. Um, let's maybe put an edge loop in there. Let's grab all these front surfaces. Box select that. Let's go G to the X. Bring it in. Cool beans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these bottom faces. And let's go down there. Whoops. Come on. 
B to box select E to extrude. All right, so that doesn't look too bad. We're kind of just getting our shape. Um, we will put, let's add in another box that kind of goes through the center here, something like that. All right, that's not too bad. Odyssey, welcome. Um, from here, do we put our Gigantor engines on the side? Where's our bridge going to be? So let's add in maybe another cube. And what we want to do is kind of work out our bridge. Let's go, let's select everything. Box select scale by 10. All right. And then I'm going to just add in another box. So this is two meters. That is a bit small. So let's go back in and we'll grab all this again. And let's scale. Not you, son. Not you, son. Not you, son, boy. Let's scale by 10. Just so we can kind of get our scales right. Yeah, I think that's, that's looking a lot better. So this is the size that we're intending. Um, we will need to make some sort of docking area. Let's kind of grab this bit here. Let's go edge loop through the middle, bring that there, put an edge loop through there, V to rip, control L, delete vertices. So we've only got one side. Let's throw on that mirror modifier now. Wham, bam, thank you, Mario. G to the X. Um, Cause it's so big now, if I zoom out, I can't really see, so I can press N. Let's go into view and increase our clipping. There we go, so now we can see further. Greetings, Diablo. Okay, so we've got our bridge bit here. And we're, as you can see, we're kind of just roughing it out. We will obviously come in and put our sci-fi panels in a little bit later. Let's work out what are we going to be doing for the back engine. So definitely we'll have something up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to file append OneDrive. Let's go to my OneDrive. Where did I put it? Public. I'm just having a look for my Greeble set where I saved it somewhere. Maybe I saved it into the Mark of 3D. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, Marco's Groovy set. Let's go objects. Let's select everything. Append. Oops. Let's go G, scale by 10. Or not. What have we got in here? Anything of use. I should have some nice engines. There we go. There's my nice engine. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, what are these cables over here? i got some random cables over here that we didn't delete. All right, so let's come and... So this kit is available for free. Ah, that's why it's not working. Ah! <laughs> Rotate Z90. And then I'm going to bring it in here like so. Um, but yes, if you want to download, there is a link. Oh, geez. I don't know where it is now. All right. Let's go G to the X. I'm just going to line that up with this bit. Boop. Boop. G. I'm going to plop that in there. Let's scale it in just a smidgen, just so it fully fits on that edge. Then what I can do is I can go add modifier. We can go in mirror modifier. And obviously because the origin points there, it's going to be in a fluffy place. But if I go mirror object, that one, there we go. And we can do Z as well. So now we've got these four looking engines, which isn't too bad. Definitely then we can put some stuff through there. Um, and you can see that we're kind of quickly moving forward. Um, hey guys, let's pull a prank on him. Okay. Are we keep bashing today? Yeah, so the plan was is I'm going to um, put in a little bit of my stuff here and then I'll probably create some items. Um, 
and then we'll build on this kit bashing set which is on gumroad emerger welcome oh thanks everyone for joining okay so we'll definitely when we come to start doing the sci-fi plates like these ones here um we'll probably stick them on definitely this stuff here we'll probably put through there probably make some sort of um docking um hangar bay doors we've got our little scale cube so this is the size that we're going to be working off booleans i need to learn booleans are you modeling like a mothership or a heavy weapon yeah it's going to be kind of like more of a mothership i think i've made it too long i'm not a fan it's not let's go b let's go g to the y yeah i think that might be a little bit better let's select all this for those of you who have been following me for a while i still do have that short film in the works i'm at that like really yuck point of i don't like the short film i want to complete it um, but it's just not tickling my fancy at the moment all right so that's looking good i'm fairly chuffed with that it's a nice good shape let's i do like it i think that looks fine definitely we'll be putting some stuff along here let me just quickly bring something up yeah see to me that looks not too bad so we'll probably put some stuff you know what let's start let's start just creating stuff let's go sh shift a yeah that's the word and let's add in a cube tab into edit mode and i'm going to start creating something whoops let's just move this out of the way Boop. g to the y just get out of there boys what is that piece let's go period key that is just a cube that's fine uh you can go alt g and we'll oops, send that back into position that is my cube that i'm working with so let's go into side view period key there we go and so this is going to sit about here-ish let's go g to the y and what this will do is this piece will be kind of um framing parts of this section so let's maybe create a few i'm going to go Control b and then let's go edge mode Control b again then i'm going to select this face and just go g to the z That doesn't seem too bad just kind of something just a little bit to break it up what we'll do now is let's throw in an array and we'll go zero let's go two let's go five uh one two three four five there we go to me that looks fine apply let's grab this one here Control l rotate z 180 so it's kind of breaking up that pattern um but from here as well we'll let's throw in some modify mirrors x z and it will go straight off that one Control s to save because i haven't done that for a little bit and so we're going to kind of just slowly build up morning mr cat dad welcome where to get the free kit let me is that not in there let me get it for you gumroad don't uh products free kit bashing set share copy link put that in the chat there we go it's right there um let's go back to this thing what i was all right that's not too bad i think maybe what would be nice for some other parts whoops let's go tab g and it's going to be kind of uh, maybe some plates that are overhanging g to the x Okay, just some sort of semi plates like that and we're going to keep building that up like so control b let's grab this face in here get that face g to the z there we go g to the z nope didn't get that one there we go and then i'm gonna put 
grab these two vertices, control B to do a bevel. And we'll move that just, actually we'll scale that on the X axis a little bit. And then what that'll do is it will start breaking up this repetition in here. All right, so let's grab this, shift D, rotate 180, something like that. On the Y axis, scale Y minus, scale X minus one. Why are you being a jerk? Scale X, oh sorry, scale Y minus one. Okay. And then I might just go shift D, rotate. Let's just change the size of that. Scale X, G to the X, G to the Z. G to the X. Just line that up in there. All right, let's fill in that section in there. So I am just going to use these. G, let's just kind of line that up. Shift D to the, whoops, something like this. Uh, Shift D, let's throw that in there. Let's go like that. Let's get this in there. These are some of my plating, which is fine. Let's get that out of the way. I kind of want more of these pieces in here. Is that enough? Nope. Let's do some more. Go in there, go in there. Boop. Whoops. Too big of a gap. Let's grab these three. G. Throw that in there. Um, I do like this piece. Kind of a turbine in there or something. Grab all that. Control J to join. Let's go rotate X 90 degrees. Rotate Z 90 degrees. You little ripper. We will bring that in there. Let's scale that in. Because I mean, if we've got these pieces, we might as well use these pieces. All right, G to the X. That's not too bad. I think it is a little bit um, too big, I guess. Let's go select all them, Control L. Shift D to the Y. We'll just move that sideways. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cheat. Rather than playing around with sizing, I'm going to go G, Y. I'm just going to move that all the way to the edge. Something like that. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'll come into this section. C, select all that. G to the Y, something like so. Let's go smooth, shade smooth. And obviously it looks like rubbish. That's where we come into object data, normals, auto smooth. Yeah, nice, nice. What have we got? Okay, let's come on. I know Mr. Cat Dad, I need to make that. <laughs> Random geometry, gotta have it exactly. If I didn't have to go to work in a few hours, I would hang. Yes, what's time? It is currently 10 to 10 p.m. Um, and I'm meant to be getting up for the Blender Nest podcast in about... Seven hours. So... <laughs> Netwinder, welcome. No need to play around with the sizing, as good as, yep. We're getting there, for sure. So the next thing I normally like to do when I'm in this situation, let me just go mirror and we'll plop it on that one on along the x-axis what i normally like to be doing now is throwing some of these random pipes so let's go see i love the bezier curve the bezier curve works it's great um but i find that Where'd this character come from? Delete. When did I import a character? Oh, right. Crud. 
right click, select hierarchy, delete. Whoops. Anyway, um, let's go tab into edit mode. I'm going to bring that to the side there. Let's scroll in, scale, G. And now what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to create some piping. Um, so yeah, I've got the option of using the Bezier curve, um, but I might just use good old fashioned spin tool, which I still stand to this day was much better in 2.79. Um, it just seemed more functioning. So let's hold control and then we'll snap that. There we go. E to extrude. Come on, buddy, where are you? Oh, you can just go that way. That's fine. And we'll go control LG to the X. Put it in like so. Let's uh, shift D and duplicate that. Let's just rotate 90, sorry, 180. GY. Yeah, cool beans. So definitely we could probably put in some details through here. Um, this piece here seems to be intersecting. So I'm gonna grab all that. Let's come in and we'll select all that. Control L. One, two, come on. I can, you can do it, buddy. Select that and select that. Control L, Control L. And we'll just go G, Z and move it up just a smidgen. And so that's kind of like, almost like an exhaust port type situation there. Um, definitely, I think, depending on what this project could be for, because uh, my intention is to do kind of like a sci-fi battle one. Um, I wouldn't mind having them fly through here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll come back and put in that extra data, data, that extra geometry coming through here when needed. Um, what I might do is let's go new material. Um, oh gosh cycles GPU okay um, I'm gonna quickly add in two lights one from above and one from below so let's go area light G to the Z and more let's just scale that puppy up rotate X 180 there we go shift D let's go Z rotate Z Sorry, Y, X, 180. Ah, 108. Rotate, X, 180. Good boy, there we go. Let's add in our lights. Probably bump this up to maybe a thousand. Will that be enough? I don't know. Let's bump this up to a thousand. That's a bit too much. Okay, let me just quickly go into render mode. How are we looking? That's not lighting it up. So let's maybe add two zeros. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Oh, yeah, let's go like that. There we go. Okay. It's maybe too many. 10 megawatt. Let's go me one megawatt. Let's go 10 megawatt. And then here will be one more megawatt. Okay. And now the next thing I'll do is with this material, which is our clay material. I'm just going to quickly, oh, this is really annoying. Oh, that's all this stuff. So if I do, I saw a crazy thing. If I go like this, new material, alt. Oh no, you can do this. Copy, copy material to selected. There we go. And then we go into rendered view we can kind of already start picturing on what this inside area looks like. And we can see that these pieces are breaking that up nicely. And it does seem to be looking pretty schmick in there. Lots of details. Definitely, we need to throw some more stuff in here. I think these pieces here will definitely break up that whole um, section in there. So yay for Marco. Yeah, let's let's put some stuff up there, I reckon. Let's go. Let's do that. All right. So from here, let's go shift S cursor world origin. Let's go add in a new cube. Um, so Curtis Holt released a new video recently talking about um, kit bashing. 
So if you guys haven't, check that out. That's an interesting video. Um, this pretty much the premise was is two types of kit bashing. There's one where you make something for a specific project and then rip it apart. And then there's the other one where you are just making kit bashing kind of like almost for the sake of it in a way, I guess. Um, but yeah, go check that out and let him know I sent you. Let's go G to the X. Kind of, let's break that apart. I will put a edge loop through there, control B. And then I'm gonna grab this and this. Ah, no, 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 sorry. Let's grab these two now, control B to do a bevel. And then let's grab this face and this face scale on the Z. Um, maybe we'll grab this edge, this edge, control B. Nope, no, 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 no. I wanted this edge and this edge as well. There we go. Control B to do the bevel. That's not too bad. B, welcome. Uh, uh, why are you working so hard? Know any animation courses? I've got one on Udemy, but it's a little bit old. Any free mocap solutions? No. <laughs> um, I bought myself a Perception Neuron. Um, and that's about it. Uh, can you tell me... Can you... Can you tell me... Can you send me Extreme PBR Combo? I can send you a link to PBR Combo. Um, and iClone and Character Creator. And that's... That all should be... In description maybe hopefully should be hard ops i know i need to sit down and learn hard ops hard ops is a la gorgeous um and but due to my come on you jerk am i in the right there we go <sighs> okay due to my um i just haven't done it but i think yeah hard ops is an amazing tool it just makes stuff look really good there is a course by Josh something. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. He has an amazing course that even though I'm, I would like to say I'm proficient in modeling. Um, his course is fantastic. Let me link that. No. I oh, know it is that one. So it's one of these two. Um, so hard ops is kind of like a hard surface modeling tool that is freaking sick. It just uh, increases your workflow dramatically. Yeah, cool. All right, that's nice. Um, let me let's continue working on this here. So I'm going to go Shift D. Let's go on the Y. Let's E to extrude. All right, let's go put a bevel here, control B. And then I'm going to grab these two, control B again. Let's grab this face here, G to the Z. And really accentuate that. Yeah, that's... See, this section, yeah, that looks quite nice. Definitely, I'm a fan of kind of like this piece in here. Let me just fix that up. So you can see how it's kind of off kilter. So if I come into here and here, I go G to the Y. Is that right? G to the Y? Yeah, there we go. That's made it a bit thicker. Yeah, that's looking a lot better, that one. Um, what other pieces do we have in my Greeble set that we can purge? Purge? Acquire? This piece here looks quite nice. This piece, funnily enough, is off one of the spaceships I created, but we will grab that. Shift D, bring that across, rotate 90 degrees. Let's go rotate X, Y, 100, 180. And we'll grab, whoops, grab that. Let's plop that probably in here-ish. Yep. G to the Y. Come on, GX, something like that, GZ, 
Let's select all that. Shift D, rotate, rotate 180. I'm going to scale that puppy up. And just move that into position, something like that. Nice. And so you can see how much that has already changed the whole kind of like the dynamic, I guess. Let's go that way. Can I get rid of this piece? Control L. Yes. Delete vertices. And then I'm just going to select this face and just go press F. Nice. All right. So this is the kind of stuff that we need to do. Let's start working on this tubing and then we will grab the mirror modifier and we'll put that on the X and the Y and there, there we go. Look at that. All right. So from here, I'm going to grab this edge in here. Come on, buddy. We can do this in there. Wham, bam. Doot. Press F. I'm going to scale that down a little bit. Let's go about here-ish. I think that's still sitting. It sure is. And then we're going to come into top view with numpad seven. I'm going to shift right click in there. Z axis, hold control. So we snap. Let's go in there. Um, and I will do the same for this section. And so what we're ultimately doing is kind of trying to fill up these spaces. Just to make it look a little bit more busier. Cool. Let's grab that. And what I'm going to do is shift D, push that on the Y. Nice. Maybe we'll bring that in. Boop. Um, let's do something a little bit more fancy with the circles. So let's grab another circle. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Shift D to the X face. There we go. Good old Master Xeon. The dude's a gun. What he's created is unbestinkin' livable. And then we'll turn this like so. Uh, from here, what I might do is just do a little one and extrude. And then we'll right click and put another one in there. Bam like so, G to the Y, and then we'll plop that one in there, go on the X axis, bam. There we go, how's that? That's not too bad there, that's not too shabby. G to the X, and we'll plop that in there. Let's duplicate that, and I'm gonna go Shift D, I'm gonna scale it down so it's kind of like a smaller pipe. I think about there, or is that to that's in the mesh? Let's just go something like that. There we go. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Definitely should be using the Bezier curves. I think that would probably go a lot better. Let's maybe give this a little bit of love. Control B to do a bevel. And then I'm going to grab this edge and this edge. Oops. Control B. And then let's grab these faces, E to extrude. I'm gonna scale, shift, well, let's try X, nope, shift Y. And it's gonna scale like that, scale, shift Y. There we go, so we kind of got this um, capac capacitor, I guess. All right, that's not too bad. I think I would like to duplicate this piece. And then what we can actually do is, oops, let's go move that out. I can scale it down, but then we can kind of start making pieces longer. There we go. And now we've got a, oops, now we've got a nice long pipe. Wow. So something like that. And so you can see we've got like a little tiny little piece really starting to break up that surface of blandness uh, g to the g to the y g y x there we go all right yeah nice let me just copy that a few times 
Shift D. We can scale Y minus one, and then that kind of flips that around. And this piece actually works quite nicely here because it kind of goes around that piece. Shift D. Let's maybe put that one in there. Shift D. And then we've got the engines as well. So already we can see how much that is kind of like opening up that whole section. Now, if we go into rendered view, nice, 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 uh, clay, you, clay, clay, let's just control S on that one. Yeah. Wow. That looks, what's that? Oh, that's the mesh. That looks pretty sick. Oh, uh, cut that poop. What? I got a poop. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, most people get discouraged with Blender or 3D in general because they haven't learned the basics of modeling, mapping, and lighting. Just don't give up. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've been doing this now for many years. Um, I started off as a hobby. And I mean, it still is a hobby. Um, it's just now I'm trying to invest more time and effort into it and money and money. <laughs> so yes, do not get discouraged that I am moving around like the clacker. Okay. We need to put something in here. Um, where's our scale gone? We've got a cube here for scale. There it is. So this is our person and we can see how many floors we're going to actually have in this kind of capital ship Fire these pipes just make it come alive. Doesn't don't they? All right. So let's go shift S cursor to world origin and then let's come in and create a cube. I'm going to let's maybe just start making random objects now. So something like that. Let's select this E to extrude. And then pretty much what we've just done with the pipes is what we're going to do with this piece. And you'll see, let's just have a look. All right. Shift D rotate 90. So it's almost as if that pipe goes through it or underneath it. Nice. Nice. Shift D rotate 90. Something like that. Okay, that's not going to work. So let's go rotate 90, probably through there, maybe. Cool beans. And we can see we're just kind of trying to build up all these little pieces. And all it is, is a little L piece that I'm just rotating around. Yeah, that's looking nice. We'll do something here as well. Let's grab this face, shift D to the Y, E to extrude, control L, G, Z. Okay. And then I'm going to select this face. Whoops, ah, oh, crud. I hate that. No, W. I hate W is changed. That one there. So, and I've just recently converted across to um, left click. So that's why I'm struggling a little bit. Oh, fire it. Ah, oh, jeez. I was doing well. I, I to do like a double insert. So let me just quick show you. If I do I, whoops, by default, kind of does an insert like that. But if I press I, it does individual faces now. So let's just go like that. Um, and if, like, if I press E to extrude, we can see that it just goes along the average face. But if I want them to go separately according to their normals, normals, I can come up to the top here and select individual origins. And then we can see that they kind of go their own way. Noise. Let's go back into the medium point because I like to keep that one. Control L. Where are we? Shift D. 
scale scale on the Y but we'll make that a little bit smaller scale on the Y G Z no right. definitely we're gonna come in and put some more pieces on here I mean technically I could technically I could probably get this face and put a particle system on it just to create a whole bunch of little bits and pieces little bits and bobs oh first I'm here welcome Azuro Jason how you doing mate have you tried chip textured from CC0 work really good for, uh, no but for those of you on being on Facebook I actually did purchase the um, CG access materials I went I'm going to use that and I'll probably use it on this project let me think where it is 3d assets textures physical oh here we go and so these are kind of the materials it was only like 50 US well that one's kind of like a sucky one let's go this one nah not that one what about this one that one doesn't look too bad um damaged brass yeah see that one's quite nice and obviously you get these cool texture maps come through and so you can really apply them to whatever you want so that's kind of cool so you i don't know because my facebook feed is nothing but um 3d stuff let's just go shade smooth on that auto smooth and let's decrease that come on okay let's go 20 let's go 15 there we go yeah that's looking cool all right you know what let's kind of we like that well i like it i don't know what about you guys think of it let's start maybe creating some sci-fi panels what is going to be the best way of doing it i am semi thinking of individual panels might work a little bit better all right this is how we're going to do it i'm going to grab let's shift d on that one and i'm going to hide that because that's our main body and this will be our uh, sci-fi panel so let's go add modifier let's go solidify solidify on the modifier control a i'm just going to apply the scale offset will be zero and maybe i won't i'm just going to delete this face just temporarily just to see the thickness how thick we're going to make it so about let's go 0.4 let's go undo that 0.4 you little ripper g all right let's go let's do it now oh, i'm going to do this i'm just thinking what is the best way so i got two options um let me just get rid of that what we can actually do is grab kind of like this sci-fi panel and i'm just going to bring that down we can come up here to snapping it's up the top here we've got the magnifying on actually i won't do that let's go face and i want to snap to the closest i want rotation as well so now if i go g and hold x you suck rotate x 90 degrees rotate z 90 degrees g hold control and then it snaps oh, but it's not snapping the angle i don't understand why but then we can kind of just massage that in Boop. and so that's if you're using like sci-fi uh pre-made um panels that's the word you can do that let me just put on the clay material and then if i jump over into render let's just have a look what it looks like where are we at so that's not looking too bad yeah that looks pretty good mm. that's looking sick um but i reckon i'm gonna let's just move that back to where it came from go back go away skedaddle 
and I might just make these panels just manually. All right, so from here, let's go back into solid mode. Um, G, what? Oh no, everything's attached to that. Okay, not that one, Alt H. Let's go G, that's our, uh, that's that one. Let's go G to the X, I just wanna move it over. Maybe let's go 100. Hide, hide, GX minus 100 and put that back in place. From here, solidify modifier, control A, let's apply that scale. We're going to point four, enter offset zero. Right, now, don't you tell me to smile. You stick around and make a ritual while. Let's just start creating some panels. So for instance, what we can do, just thinking what's gonna be the best workflow here. If I do that, scale X zero, Y zero, is that still there? Yes, it is, beautiful. Let's keep that. I'm gonna put in a few extra edge loops here and there and everywhere. Actually, what we might do is, I'm gonna use a knife tool, so I'm gonna press K for the knife tool. I'm gonna to press Z, so it cuts through all the mesh, because if I don't do that, it's just gonna cut through whatever is on top. And then I'm gonna press C, and that's gonna go at kind of like 90 degrees or 45 degrees. Bam, enter. All right, so now we're starting to get a bit of N-Gons, but you know what? I don't care. All right, cool beans. And then from here, we can kind of just start. Let's kind of put that in there. Put one through there. And then from here, we can just start chopping things up. So I can do this, for instance. I'm gonna go Control-B, point O two, Enter, delete, faces. Is that enough? That is not enough. Oh crud, I went too back. Hang on, what have I done? There we go. Control B. So I'm just gonna see what's the distance of that. Where is it? It's always moved. One. No. Nope. So let's go point two. Enter, delete, face. And then if we come to solid mode, we can see that we have our panel line. Um, if we go into rendered view, is that enough? Yes, that is enough. So I can see that there's a definite line through there. Let's work on that. So from here, I'm gonna put one there, put one there, control B, point two, and we're just gonna start deleting faces. And the reason why this is working is because we've got that solidifier modifier on top. Um, what I might do is I'm just gonna select this one, shift D, scale, G to the Y, and we're just gonna move that off, uh, move that across, GX, and there we go. So now we've kind of got this panel, is if we go into render view, we've kind of got this panel overlapping here, which is fine. So we will, we've got a bit of work to do. Um, what I might do just for funsies is we'll just get stuffed. Let's just work kind of in this section. I do, I think that's too big. Scale on the Y. And then let's just start doing this. And then from here, what I can do is just start selecting random lines. Um, let's go maybe on this one here, let's go GG and move that one down. And then we've kind of got this. So this is gonna be our major panel lines, I guess, if you wanna call it that. And then we'll come in and do secondary panel lines. Oh, okay, it's off. Oops. Box select that, GG. Okay, so then we're gonna have, this will be a panel line, this is a panel line, this will be a panel line, control P point two, delete faces. And then if we kind of go into here, we can start seeing, ah, that's a bit boxy, that sucks. That's fine, we will move that edge down. So let's come into edit mode. I'm going to go into vertex. Let's select all these. C, C, 
C, G to the Z, oops, C, and we'll deselect that piece, G, Z, ah, dang it, all right, we're gonna have to eyeball that one, that's rather unfortunate, G, where are we, something like that, I'm just gonna line these up, bam, Nice. Whoops. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, it wasn't a rendered view. That's sick. What'll make it a lot better will be once we start putting on other panels over the top. Um, definitely smaller ones. It'll look good. Um, any blender tips and add-ons? Oh my goodness, I have so many add-ons. So, for those of you... <laughs> I made a short film in an hour. Um, I released it this morning. Um, and that was using the scatter add-on. That was using the... Physical lighting add-on. Let me just bring that one up. It was a very quick... About 20 second, 22 second, 20. It was a short film. It was about 20 seconds. Why are you being a jerk? Can you just... Sorry, I'm just having an argument with YouTube at the moment. Let me just click on it. No, 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 no. Why are you being a jerk? Let me just... There we go bring that one across put that in there hello w allen how you doing mate um any free mocap the mixamo library i guess is for free use hard ops no i don't use hard ops but that's one thing um we spoke about earlier i really need to sit down and use it i mean i know i know what it's capable of i have used it in the past um but it's just kind of more due to my laziness I haven't sat down and relearnt it. So let's just do that cut again. Enter. Um, that's looking good. I'm going to go like that. Let's put one there. I'm going to get rid of that selection and that selection. Um, let's do control B point two delete faces. And I will. Oh, no, I can't grab that. So I'll grab this one here. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. and then we'll come into the front view and then I'm just going to press G to move it to about here-ish moving in and we're just kind of going to work that magic gaffer add-on versus spotlight spotlighting add-on I have not played with those two I think I've heard of them uh, but I just haven't had a chance to play with that Oops. Point two. enter delete faces and we'll put one through there. Control B point two, enter delete faces. Um, probably through here. Control B point two, enter faces. Yeah, nice. That is looking awesome. Well, I think it's looking awesome. Control B point two, delete faces. Um, did you use Boolean? No, I haven't used any Booleans. That's another skill I need to learn. Um, and like I mentioned previously up here somewhere, I have bought this course by, can't remember his name, but it is an amazing course. Let me just quickly, I want to say Gabe, but it's not Gabe. And he's going to bash me. Josh, Josh Gambrell. Um, he's another YouTuber, fantastic course. Go check that one out. If you really want to get into like, um, native booleans and such, it's actually really good. I've even, I've purchased it. All right, let's, let me grab this control B point two, delete faces. And then we'll grab these two edges. No, 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 no. One, two, better not sue. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. No, I can't move this one. So normally what I could do is go GG, but I can't do GG to move it along the current edges. 
So let's go undo, 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 undo. There we go. Undo. Now we'll go GG. Control B point to delete, delete faces. There we go. Nice. Let's probably, I reckon we need to put one through here. So let's do another cut. Probably through there. K, C, Z, enter. And then that way I can select this. Control B, point to delete faces. And let's just have a quick squeeze of what that looks like. What's that paneling look like? That paneling looks on point. I don't like that line, so we're gonna fix that one up. So I'm just going backwards and forwards between the render. And so I'm using a kind of like a clay material that really stands it out. So what it is, is the material, where are you buddy? Where are you down here? Hmm. Might have been difficult. Let's go something like that. There we go. And then we'll put probably an edge loop through here. Control B point two, delete faces. Through here, control B point two, delete faces. Let's put one through there, GG. Control B point two, delete faces, and one over the top. Point two, delete faces. Um, let's maybe put edge loop through there. Control B point two, delete faces. Just a small one. Do I have any? Just a smidgen remaining of liquids. All right, almost. GG, control B.02, delete faces. Cool bananas. Um, okay, let me go back. Sir, you made all these models by yourself. I'm, I'm making them at the moment, so I'm gonna say yes. Is it worth flip fluids if you only have 12 cores? Yes. Flip forwards is awesome because it utilizes all the cores where Manta Flow will only use one core. So the calculations are actually better with flip forwards, which is awesome. <sighs> Great course. Flip forwards we've spoken about. I paid for iClone 7, but now I lost all them. My baby deleted them. Well, they just re download them through the Reillusion Hub. Um. Da -da -da -da. Invisible cup. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Cakes by Chopper. Dude, he... Oh, my goodness. The cakes that he makes. I am very jealous of that skill. I tried to... <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. That doesn't work. <laughs> but if you if you want to see some killer cake designs, make sure you stop by um, Chopper there. Uh, cakes by Chopper. I paid for my client. Yeah, we've already, already spoken about that one. Sir... How to texturing big scenes like this? Yeah. So it's semi-interesting on how to do that. Um, way I normally do it, we'll probably just do the PBR and then come in and select specific tiles and change them on a different color. I do kind of have a tutorial on it. Actually, I think I do. Let me just quickly jump in and have a look. Um, let me just jump into this YouTube, um, uh, PBR, I think I've got a video on it. I'm just checking. You could kind of semi do it this way. I mean, it would work. Oh, go away. Skedaddle. Okay. Copy, copy, copy link address. You could probably do it that way, and that's how I might do it. But I've also got the larger textures, um, and I'll probably just what's the word? Uh, tile the texture, but because I can, um, I will tile the texture. 
and I will select the panels on different colors. Um, so it'll break up that. What's the word? Texturing. The, like the repeating. My brain is fizzled. For shizzled, mcdizzled. Tiling. That's the word. It'll break up that tiling so you won't really notice it as bad. Um, especially for these pieces, I'll just probably put a PBR shader on it and then just make it um, off the object orientation so it kind of goes from all sides. There. Are you late? Zero, 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 zero. You are not late, good sir. <laughs> um, I tried doing a trial version. Okay. You're right. So that is looking good. Here is our kind of like our scale piece. Definitely will come in and redo it. So let's just have a check. What does our render look like for now? So that's looking quite nice. This bit in here is looking pretty good. I'm just going to quickly change the color of that to our clay materials just so it all matches up. And if we come all the way in. Yeah, wow. So that looks pretty cool. So even up close, that looks really nice. We've got a sci-fi panels coming through. We've got these pipes coming in. And so you can just see just by adding pipes, how much that like increases the scene. It does nothing, but you can see it just makes it so much more juicier having small pipes, big pipes and so on and so forth. All right. I'll probably do more pipe work later. Definitely what we need to do is start adding um, bigger actually let's let's finish off this bit I want to just work on the front here let's go K C Z and we'll put a chop there um, let's go edge loop through <coughs> excuse me control B point two delete faces let's go through here control B point two delete faces I'm going to put one that goes through there control B point two delete faces delete face do we have a line there we don't what I might do is kind of just break up the square K C Z 45 degrees enter control B point to delete faces oh, actually no I don't want to delete that one so I'm going to deselect that control B point to there we go delete faces yeah, nice. Obviously at the moment we can see through the mesh, but you have to remember that we duplicated the hole and what that allows, funnily enough, I think it might be that one. Ah, dang it. That's fine. We'll just make these panels a little bit thicker. So let's select this one and we'll just bump it up, bump it up. That's too thick. All right. So that's something we're going to have to come back through and fix. I think it was because I was moving um, vertices along the normals. I think that's why they're starting to protrude. But that's fine. That's, you know what? Future marker's problem. Right. Now. Um, so let's kind of just finish off this section. Control B.2, delete faces. How should we do this one? This piece here. Let's go just there. Control B.2, delete faces and then I might just put a knife tool sh through there K C Z like so Boop. enter control B point to delete faces yeah nice so the next option we can do <coughs> is there's okay I'll show a really cool technique that I learnt from Chris Kuhn amazing so what you can actually do is we can kind of like etch out portholes if we really wanted to. And the way you can do this is by, I'm just trying to think what's the simplest way. Let's go shift A. I'm going to add in a circle. Mesh, circle. I'm going to make it 40 vertices. Let's kind of bring it up to there. G rotate 90 let's scale that up and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to make it super difficult and see how we've got this line here so we know that we've got two angles through there so i'm going to plop it 
about there. Let's really break it up. So I'm going to put it on this one here. Will this work? Let's go into wireframe. Let's go into edit mode. And I kind of want to line these two vertices up as much as possible. Why is there... Ah, oh, okay, sorry. I was trying to work out why there was two lines here, but that's because of, um, that's the angle where the solidifier is. So the question is, I'm gonna say this top one here. So you can see now I've put this vertice on this line. Now that's there, whoops, let's go Z. That's there to make our life easier when we start putting this together. So now I'm going to go add modifier I'm going to do project skin, 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 skin. No, wrong one. Shrink wrap, shrink wrap. And it'll be on that cube. And we can see that it's kind of like this yucky circle. We're going to change it to project on the X negative. Hang on, which one is it? Oh, whoa, geez. Cheese and whiskers. Hey, yo, we're back. Okay. Oh, do we have Z? There we go. All right. Oh yeah. If I go control, whoops. If I go, sh whoop, if I go control A, rotation. There we go. That's better. <laughs> now we go Y. We go X, and we can see now we've projected that circle directly onto this mesh. Excellent. Tab apply watching i'm going to select this section in here control l i'm going to press i to do an insert whoops let's press i to do an insert and again and so we've got something like this okay do it make sense i'm going to select our circle and then select our hull control j to join from here, what I can do is select this mesh. I'm going to select these four here, delete faces. So now what we've got is we've got a circle. Oh, no, no, no. I should have lined it up a little bit better. So we've aligned it up along the Z axis, but not the Y axis or the X axis. Sorry. So let's move that over G Y to about here. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these vertices. Boop face face ah oh, jeez see face there we go oh no 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 not you buddy face and now we've got a oh, it's kind of it's a little bit fluffy but that's something we could probably fix up so we might have a little bit too many vertices in that area. So what I can do is I go delete faces, <laughs> delete face only. And then what we'll do is kind of do it like this face, face. Oh, come on face face and hopefully now it's not going to make me a big fat liar so that's a lot better there got a little deformation here but i'm not too concerned about that a little bit concerned about this top one i think there's way too much in there so let's select delete face only and then we can just kind of go like this face face so that's not too bad it's not very noticeable We'll probably come back and fix that later, but that's kind of a way of cutting holes into mesh. So, you know, just something you might want to keep in the back of your mind. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But I don't think it suits the ship because it's a very square ship. So I'm going to delete that hole. <laughs> All right, let's kind of grab that hole. I'm going to get rid of it, but I just kind of wanted to show you that technique just in case you ever wanted to put a hole in something like a face right click subdivide let's select these four vertices come on baby 
You can do it, buddy. What is the time? It is... Jeez, <gasps> I got videos to edit. But that's fine. All right, there we go. So now I've fixed that back up. So now the next thing I was saying is... We'll come back to this section in a sec. But I'm going to select this. I'm going to shift D to duplicate that one. Mm, which one do I have now? This one? Yeah, cool. All right, let's select this one. So this will make, let's actually maybe rename some um, things. SM static mesh underscore hull underscore panels one. Oops, can't spell panels. Panels one. And then we're going to select this one. Actually, we'll hide sci-fi panels. And then we've got this one, and this one will be renamed to uh, SM for static mesh, hull, hull underscore panels two. And what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to go down into the solidifier modifier, and I'm going to make this even bigger. So I'm going to make it rather than 0. 0.46, let's go 0. 0.6. What? 0.6, you stooge. There we go. So now it's even bigger. And so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to chop this up even further. <sighs> Actually, let's do that. Let's select everything. Double. Ah, oh, dang it. It's changed. Right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide. Like so. Or is it going to work? We can try it. Let's see if this works. Deselect everything with double tap A. I'm going to press space bar to search or F3 or FN, F3 if you're on a laptop. Let's go random, select random. I want to press the faces. Oh, it's not really, not really my cup of tea. Good stuff. Just go faces. Ah, no, nah, I think I might do it manually. I don't like that. Let's undo all that slicing, slicing and dicing. Let me get rid of this piece because I don't like it. And then from here, what we're going to do is just going to chop this up even further. So for instance, oh, that's because of that piece there. So for instance, if I want to grab this piece in here, and let's make another piece up here. Oh, and we haven't even started having fun yet. <laughs> Control V. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So now if I select this edge here, GG. I'm going to go like that. I forgot to do that all the time. What we're going to do now is we're going to start deleting faces that we don't want. So I don't want all this. Okay. I didn't realize that was all one edge. So I don't... I want... Let's go control L, control I to invert my selection and hide. So let's select that piece. And I want these pieces here. And let's maybe grab this piece and that piece there. Control I delete vertices, no faces. So now we're left with this. Let's kind of start massaging these around, delete vertices. Um, another great tool that I uh, tip I got from Josh Gambrill, which is the course that I just mentioned, which I had no idea Blender could do this. If you do control shift B, that bevels a vertice. Who knew? So I'm gonna put an edge loop through there, edge loop through here. Let's maybe put something like that, control B to put a, bevel through there and then I'm going to select these two control B put another bevel through there let's grab this GG and then I can delete that edge and then we can delete this edge let's select that control shift B yeah there we go that's looking good oh yeah <laughs> that's not gonna work I can't line that up actually maybe I could well, let's go like this GG straight on there and then we'll grab this vertice GG all right 
Oops. Silly marker. Buddy, come on. G, and we'll plop that one like this. And I'll show you in a sec what I'm doing. That way, control B. Actually, let's go GG. Control B. And then I'm going to grab this section, control B. GG. Put that in there. Maybe we might do GG. Nope. Control B. And then GG. Control Shift B. All right. Stuff is starting to come along. All right. Now, so we've got these pieces. Alt H to unhide everything. And is that protruding enough? Oh, very faint. 0.6. Let's go 0.8. Oh, wait. I can just move that. Uh, let's go back to 0.6. There we go. Let's go 0.8 here. And so you can see now that we're even starting to break that surface up even further. Oh, jeez. All right, let's go back. Check all these clients. Contact re-illusion. Yes. Um, it looks more photoreal of deformation. Cutting all. Yes, I completely agree with holes cutting with hard ops. Ben, thanks, Steven. Stay at home. Correct. Sir, can you do a video of rigging the spaceship? So at the moment, there's a video coming out every Friday on creating kind of like this landing gear. I think the next video is rigging and we're doing some pretty advanced stuff with pistons and so on. So make sure you go check that one out on Friday. Top uh, of the ship. Yeah, I think I probably will put in kind of like cam cannons that'll be sitting on the side of the ship. Uh, no, 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 no. You're repeating yourself. Make it hard to find people provided by... Okay, sorry. I have no clue what's going on, but it's fascinating to watch. <laughs> Thanks, Chopper. All right. So, yeah, you can see that's how we're kind of breaking up that surface even more. Um, and then technically we could go through all the all that. Um, and it just kind of just adds so much extra depth. Now, let's have a look. What's time? 10 to 11. Technically, I could get up in six hours for the Blender Nest podcast which I probably should. How many hours? What did I say? Six hours. Yeah, I did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm pushing it. Um, let's maybe create a piece that'll kind of go along the side here because this is our scale of two meters. Yeah, let's kind of make a piece that will sit on the side and will have all these wonderful little windows. So let's go back into solid mode. Shift S, cursor toward origin. Let's go new cu cube. Let's go in the cube. Is this ship off center? It is. When did that happen? Anyway. All right. So from here, this is our piece. That'll kind of show off barracks. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? All right. Let's kind of bring that out a little bit. There we go. All right, so back to this piece here. So this is the size of our floor. So this is at the moment two meters. Let's make it three meters. So scale 1.5. There we go. So now that's three meters high. If we go something like this, let's put an edge loop. Mm, let's not put an edge loop. Let's just scale along the Y axis. And so this is kind of like our viewing deck through here. And I'm just going to put in a few edge loops. Let's select, no, I think I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this bit wrong. Let's select the one face, control I to invert our selection, delete, oops, delete faces. So now we've got this one piece. I'm gonna press I to do an inset. And this is gonna be kind of like our window piece. Um, from here, let's go extrude. I'm gonna put an edge loop through here scale on the y zero so we've got a straight piece enter where are we there we go i am going to put a bevel through here let's put another bevel through here actually no let's bring that over g ah, g to the y select both these control b and i'm going to select this face and this face scale on the z <coughs> excuse me 
Let's put another bevel through there, scale on the Y axis zero. And we'll bring that in there, scale on the Z axis. And so kind of what this will be, will be our uh, viewing window, I guess. And let's kind of select this. G to the X, I will delete these pieces and that one, delete face. Let's go shift D to duplicate that. And what I'm doing now is I'm separating these pieces. Let's go G to the Y. So now we've separated the glass and then that way, what I can actually do is if we come into materials, we throw on a clay material and then I can create a second material. Do we have lights? We don't have lights. So let's create a lights material, change it from the principle to emission. And let's bump this up to five ish white light. Yeah. Let's keep it white. <coughs> actually, no, let's give it a bit of a bluey tinge. There we go. Uh, we select the face and we go assign. And now if we go into rendered view, we kind of see that looks crud. Let's go one, maybe a little bit less bright. I do not like that one a little bit. That looks yuck. So let's fix that. Let's go G. I want, I think maybe making it deeper. Ah, get stuffed. Ah, oh, yeah, jerk. G to the X. Something a lot deeper. Delete the face. Now let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that's looking quite a bit better. That's fine. Let's go into solid mode. Tab into edit. I'm going to select the top and bottom. E to extrude. Let's go scale on the Z. And then we'll smash that back. All right. From here, what I can do is we can go add modifier, add an array, and we'll go this way and that way. One, two, three, and right. Because it's all still to scale. From here, I can hit apply. So now we've joined everything. M merge by distance. There we go, cool beans. Let's select these two there. Let's select this one and this one and we'll click face. Now we can maybe place these in certain positions like so. G to the X. Um, let's move this one, G to the X, G to the Y, sorry. Maybe through about here. And then what we can do is go shift D to the Z, duplicate that up. You feel me? And we'll do another one up there. G, X, something like that. And now what we're gonna do is we'll throw in our mirror modifiers and we go Z as well. And on that thing thingamajig, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's sci-fi panels. That's two, hide, hide, oh, oh, control Z. Oh, it's coming through because they're just, yeah, it's fine. Now if we go into rendered view, so we can see that now that ship's already starting to break up some more, but what we can do is if I come into here and now that that mesh, the glass has been separated, I can start selecting random windows. And I think I might select it more. Maybe that one there as well. Break that one up a bit more. This one, this one, and this one. Come back into materials, clay, assign. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Definitely there's gotta be some pieces that come off onto the side. I think that it's very bland, but at the end of the day, we still don't have 
hang on bay thank you that's the word um so we might come down into here and put it at kind of like the bottom half of the ship just then so it loses loses its um symmetry symmetry is the right word yeah so i say we go with that oh brian wilson welcome buddy um -la -la -la, it's useless you won't get it what yeah let me scroll back up a little bit i've already explained to you i've got a course on that stop spamming we stay up all night and i missed it no i am not staying up all night to go on the podcast i got work in the morning uh sorry bro uh is this a ship or continuation of mm, no i kind of the reason why i created this was just to do something a bit different i've been stuck doing the animation and it's just been killing me i'm at that point in the project where i hate the project which really sucks i mean you know i've done already a lot of work on the short film but i'm at that point where i just don't want to do it anymore which is bad because i do want to do it but I don't want to do it, if you know what I'm saying, if you feel me. So let's just quickly fix this bit up here. Shift D, I'm just going to rotate that around. And we'll plop that one about here-ish. Rotate, yep. G, I just want to kind of fill that space up in there. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to get rid of this face here. Delete face. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, I like this bit. Do I make that the hangar bay? I don't want that the hangar bay though. Oh, but that's looking sick. Just now that that's all filled out, throw in some more pipes. And obviously when we come in really close, I know that's pixelated as anything. But that'll look schmick. And obviously kind of like if I were to go here, shift A, let's add in a little point light. Oh, would that work? Just snap it to the face. Uh, let's bump that up to maybe 500 watts. Ah, you suck, I hate you point light. And then, yeah, once we start pointing in a few point lights in here, definitely probably some of more of these pieces in through here. That'll look. That'll look nice. All right. What I might do is I might leave it here for now. If you're new to the channel, I probably should have said that. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Keeps updating my content. I actually do like it. I can see kind of like a battle flying through there um so don't forget you can always download the kit bashing set off gumroad for free i don't know i dumped up the link dumped up the link you clown um let me find the link for the asset pack i believe it is that one um if you want to download it we still got a few good pieces we haven't used. Oh, I like that piece. That's a nice looking piece. We've got all these sci-fi panels that we can actually just throw on and stick on. We've got a few of these pieces. What on earth is that? <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, what was that piece? Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice piece we can throw somewhere. Um, so yeah, this kit bashing set is for free. Oh, I like that piece. That's a nice looking piece. And we've got these pieces here, which aren't too bad. We could probably shove them somewhere, a little bit of a nice little greebling. Here are some other parts. Let's, maybe, let's see if we can snap that up somewhere. Shift D, scale. Uh, let's go rotate X, 90 degrees. Rotate Z, 90 degrees. Where could we put that? I would probably need to delete something. I actually... That is a brilliant idea. Let's delete this panel here. 
Look at that. It almost fits perfectly. Scale on the Y. Scale on the Y. Actually, we'll have to change that in a sec. Let's go G to the X. G to the X. Oh, dang it. No, that's not going to work, that one. Oh, it could... Anyway, let's not do that one there. Let's go... I'm trying to find a spot to put this. This might work. This might work. Oh, no, we've got... Oh, we can just move these lights over. Boop. Control L, G. Put that one there. Oh, anyway. Oh, that's fine. Let's just grab that. Oh. No, it needs to go... Oh, no, there's a line here, unfortunately. So I can't exactly do that. Yeah, that would have been good if I could put it there or something. Maybe we, maybe we still can. Let's kind of grab it and we'll plop it in there, like so. There we go. Did I... Oh, my goodness. Let's put it about here. And then what we can do is come into this, put in... Oh, let's go... Oops. Let's go Alt-H. I'm going to select this. Let's go... Put edge loop through there. And I'm going to delete these two. Delete faces. And then we'll hide that one. And then we'll select this one in here. And then I'm going to put an edge loop about here. Through there. Through there. Through there. And then we can select these two. Delete faces. Oh, oh, that's sexy. Oof. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bam. And that, oh. I'm down with that. That looks pretty cool. And obviously, we could probably put in a few other ones have some of those panels missing and just like crud kind of like this in here as well mm -hmm. <laughs> okay anyway uh, a lot of detail a lot of small detail you need more medium big detail yes I completely agree so that's um, what we're working on earlier and I'll probably do that off stream let's go alt H hide there we go and we started doing these like um, larger panels through here. I reckon I might come through and put more of these. Also, the bridge will be coming through here. And I might make it kind of like a Star Destroyer type thingy with Bob. So like, can I, you gonna let me move around? So maybe something like that. Yeah, shush. I think would be cool. So we'll come back to that anyway. All right, let's leave it at that. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 25,000 mark before the end of the year. Um, tutorial. Check out the short film that I made in an hour. Bit of a comedy, bit of a joke. Let me know if you like that. Actually, let's bring that up, which was this one here. Come on. Come on, you jerkosaurus. Right click copy address that was a short film that I made uh, it took me about six hours to render but I made it in an hour if you want me to make start making more of these types of short films let me know and I'll start working a little bit more on them I'm trying to work out what's the best thing for the channel um, do we want you know do we want the short films do we want I will still will do blender add-on tutorials because I, I love seeing new stuff um, the landing gear course seems to have um, bombed. That's on Fridays. Uh, nobody really cares about that one, which is kind of sucky, but I will. I'll keep releasing them. Tomorrow's the making of that short film. Wednesday, 
I think will be a tutorial on the scatter add-on, which is amazing. Friday will be the landing gear tutorial and it will be the rigging part. Um, if you want, I normally jump over onto Twitch as well, just to, you know, if I'm throughout the week and just muck around on there because I don't want to um, over flood the YouTube channel because then apparently it's going to be bad for like the algorithm because then I have videos competing against video. Anyway, so I do stream every once in a while on Twitch. What else? Uh, do more of those blender gags. Which blender gags? That, that one? Yes. So the landing gear, so I think there's only two videos remaining on that one. Blocking one, two, three. Modeling three just came out. So that's four. Five is rigging. Six is texturing. So pretty cool stuff there. And then what I'll do is I'll release that video as one long one hour plus video. Um, this file here will be available for the Patreons. If you guys want that. Anything else? No, I can't think of anything else. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. I will speak to you guys later. If you want to see me more, um, I should be on the Blender Nest podcast in a couple of hours. <laughs> um, so jump on that. Um, that's really cool, hanging out with Curtis Holt and who else is there? CG Matters on there. A few other guys. Josh. I know, I've got to learn Box Cutter. Josh, let me go through the Discord. So I've got... Chip comes every once in a while. Curtis Holt, Aaron. I can't remember Aaron's last name. Uh, Grant Abbott sometimes appears. We've got Josh Webb has just joined at the channel. Um, Kev CG. Check him out. He's pretty cool. And yeah, it's quite a few others. I met one of my heroes. Heroes. People who I was like following for a very long time. Um, Remington Graphics. It was really great to meet him. Ah, oh, that was awesome. That was so good. <laughs> but anyway, let's leave it there. Marco needs to go to sleep. Marco's got work tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I will see you probably next Sunday. All right. Thanks, guys.